I want to address the thorny issue of immigration. I've thought long and deeply about this question, and I've decided there's only one fair plan. Each time someone immigrates to America, someone else will have to emigrate from America. So suppose an immigrant from Cambodia arrives in the United States, a large wheel will be spun in Washington, D.C., and Erica Cosgrove of Cape Charles, Virginia, will be deported from our nation. Now, Erica can move anywhere in the world she chooses. She may come to enjoy the colorful climate of Queensland, Australia. Erica may awake every day, listen to the Cordora birds, and think, thank God for Sparrow's radical immigration policy. Sparrow for President. Today on Sparrow for Prez, it's election time and Sparrow decides that he will seek the office of the President of the United States for the fifth time. People are very stupid in this country. That means you, Mr. <laughs> America. <laughs> My name is Sparrow. I'm running for president of the United States. This is my fifth campaign. I started in 92. You know, I run every four years. I try to stop. I consider it a sort of addiction. And I always tell people not to vote for me. I, I think I haven't told you that yet. Vote for the Democrat. They're good enough. All right, Hillary is a little creepy. <laughs> President George W. Bush was giving a press conference in the Rose Garden and a bird shit on him. The bird is yet to be formally identified. Some say it was a pigeon, others a sparrow. So this is my announcement. A heroic bird has loosed her bowels on George Bush. Like Mr. Bush, I look to the heavens for guidance. The time is right to announce. I myself am running for President of the United States. So now I'm gonna send that out. <laughs> hey, I have an announcement to make. I am going to run for President. No! <laughs> Again? Yeah. Oh, in 2008? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. I actually did not know. Yes, again, for the uh, fifth time. <laughs> there needs to be thinking. There needs to be rushing about with political dangers, political know-how. We've got this empire. The empire is completely fucked. <laughs> and we're fucked. So what do we do about that problem? How do we get unfucked? There is a way, probably. I plan to be a very dynamic leader. You gotta constantly like <laughs> hop around, you know? Hey, I'm dynamic, I'm leading, you know? Otherwise, they'll lose interest. People are very stupid in this country. That means you, Mr. <laughs> America. I'm sick of you and your fucking, you know, anti-intellectual, uh, you know, dictionary hating. I mean, they're fucking, it's on your fucking computer when it takes like four tenths of a second to look up the word incredulous. I say the standing army is a mistake. It's absurd. Let them sit. I basically like people, even Americans. I'm just saying that even though I just insulted you all as a bunch of idiots, I feel, stupid as you are, you have the right to define your own terms, your own life. Even though you've all been completely muddled and brain dead from watching VH1, oh, Joe Walsh, I feel that you have the right to a pl plebiscitary life, a life where everything is decided by vote, by democracy, and by consensus, if possible. And that's why I want to be your president. <laughs>